and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. So the question of the day is, do resistance bands actually work? We got surprising science and more for answers. Right. There's science. There's. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about all the evidence that uh, we'll, supports we'll whether these about, are good or not. We'll talk about some anecdotal evidence, and we'll talk about some scientific studies. Oh, anecdotal. Yeah, I, thought I always like that word. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We oh. provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. And you'll always find we're giving this away. This week we're giving away a massage gun, a really nice quality one, by yep, the way. Yep, that's our C2. Yeah. Um, you can also go to Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top of the page. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version <laughs> of our program. And, and do I get to say it? You said podcast. We have podcasts out now, and they're very interesting, very informative, and outstanding guests. That's right. So, Bob. As we talked about, therapists have been using stretch bands for literally decades right. to work on strengthening with their patients, and they do so because they're effective. Uh, they're there's exercise bands, there's exercise tubes, yep. and there's exercise, what do you call those? Loops. Loops. Yep, I call them large loops. Uh, and yeah, there's some real uh, distinct benefits when, you, when it comes to using uh, stretch bands. One is, as you get you stretch further and further, the resistance goes higher and higher. I'm not going to get right. you, Bob. Uh, which is yeah. a big difference in characteristics compared to a weight where it's the same. Well, it actually gets easier. And yeah, it depends yeah. on yep. where, what angle you're at. As you get up here, it actually, there's less gravity. Yeah, for this specific Yeah, for lift, that one. Yep. Uh, but there's, you cannot get it uh, to go more difficult with weight. Uh, although they have done, I've read some uh, uh, studies, and some people train where they'll... Put bands with the weights. Right. They'll yeah. try to attach the bands with the weights or either that or logging chains when they do it. Right, or, or bands with the bench press even. Right, and, and yeah. yeah. So anyways, uh, there are some very distinct physical... Uh, advantages. Uh, so I went to the research to find out what's going on in the research, and I found very easily, it didn't take long at all, I found three uh, research studies that I'm going to talk about briefly. One was with wrestlers or collegiate wrestlers. Let me just say this right real quickly. You can go down in the uh, <gasps> description below in uh, on YouTube, yep. and we'll have the three studies listed. Yeah, so if you want to read them yourself, yep. go down there, and I've got all the information to easily access them. Uh, the first one was the wrestlers. They use them for to try to get explosive energy explosive power. Yep, out there, and uh, they were very happy with the results. It was very awesome. positive. Uh, the next one was more of the general public, uh, how to the benefits of resistance band. Again, uh, positive results. I'm not going to go into the details, but oh, Overall, very supportive. And the last one was with people with um, oh, really frail uh, disabilities. Disabilities, yeah. yeah. Uh, which would be common with a lot of therapist use. Yeah. Uh, again, very positive. And then we're going to talk about high level athletes who support this. And here, let's look at this book. Right. Tom Brady's book, The TB Method. Uh, we got this well, probably five years ago, didn't we? Somewhere in there. Uh, yeah. yeah. And Tom switched to using bands over weights. Mm -hmm. And he was having so much, so many aches and pains with the weights. Right. Switch to the bands. It uses a foam roller too. Right. And he, you know, well, you can see the results. Yeah. Here's yeah. this guy. Well, how old is he now? 100? <laughs> what is he? 44, I think, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I did look up. He's 44. Oh, he's 44. And he's still winning Super Bowls, yeah. which and, is just amazing. And now they have weight fitness clubs that go after TB12. Oh, really? and, and you go in there and everything's quiet. You don't hear weights right. going clink, clang, 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 clang. clang. You, all these bands are stretching and people are very functional, in. very uh, appropriate for athletic events. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Oh, the massage gun got in my way. Okay, kind of threw me off there. So anyways, uh, how do you use these? That's the sure. question. Some people say, well, this sounds great, but uh, let's talk about some other benefits first. Very quickly, sure. uh, you talked about the resistance. Little space. Very yep. little space, very, needed, right. And they're very portable. It's hard to take 
your dumbbells with right. you on vacation. These you just put in your luggage and you're off and running. Yeah, especially these. You most of these you could you could hook around a bed or something oh, like yeah. that. But but you could actually do a lot of them without well, just we, using your body. Yeah, and we're going to demonstrate in that a little bit. Sure, they're extremely versatile. Uh, and we talked about uh, the. How it stretches, it gets more, it's progressive resistance. That's what I'm looking for. So let's go. Can you uh, Another one bring that up cost. a little bit? Oh, the cost, yeah. yeah. This is what I use. I use, I've got five of these, I've got five of these, and then I've got some wall anchors, which I'm going to show you. No, I'm going to do it, Bob. I don't want you <laughs> down and touching it. Okay. I, we're talking about the smart board. It, I sure. think I better use it. It's a smart yeah, board. Yeah. I mean, when you talk about trying to buy weights versus buying, Resistance fans, yeah. they're not even comparable. Yeah. These are a small cost. Right, absolutely. Okay, so the first, let's talk about squats. Sure. Uh, some leg strengthening. Now, what you can do is, uh, can you come over here once? Um, let me see. Bob, you want to get that off? Uh, sure. This is. These are wall anchors. We're going and to demonstrate for those. Me. You don't need to have a wall anchor. You want to the lowest one, Brad? Um, I just put it there. I'll think about it. <laughs> now, if you don't have wall anchors, which a lot of people probably don't, along with this is a we have a Bob and Brad kit, but they're all very similar. There's going to be one of these devices that you can put in a door, close the door, and then you hook the device through this hole. You'll thread the um, the band through the hole and it works fairly good but it takes time consuming the wall anchors are just very efficient as you'll see why but this works wonderful as well right bob good what job. are you going to do well i was going to show squats okay good so you can actually and by the way ours come with really nice handles i, I mean they really are yeah we, we make sure they're nice quality but you can go ahead and put it in this direction here and you can obviously you can hook up like five bands if you want. Yeah, you can. We just got one. I, I don't go more than three at home. You can do squats like this. Just yeah, I'm without even having the anchors. Yeah, I don't know if you can, you can see I'm standing on the band. Hey, look at the posture, you know, where we're thinking about. We're, we're not right. doing this bending over yep. thing. Really work on those quads. And I can go right to biceps, Fred. Yeah, but I did want to show people this. You take one of these loops. And these are really handy dandy That's for a squats. Heavy loop. Yeah, this is this is the biggest one. one. And wow! So we're gonna go here and down and up. I really like the loops for squats. I think it's the best way well, to go. Well, you like also works a little bit on your posture, doesn't? it? Oh yeah, because it's you're having to work to keep the. Yep. Yeah, the, the benefits are just continue to go on and on. All right, biceps. Oh, we if got them there. Biceps. Yep. What's nice about this is you can actually. Working balls at the same time, you can actually double it up like this. And if you want to increase the resistance, just step way further. Yep. And it makes it harder and harder. So if you want to start off easy, you can start off close to the wall. And then as you want to make it harder, you can step away. Yep. Just like that. Yep. If you have the loops, you can do biceps like this. Works well. If you want to get a little tighter, you step out a little bit wider or get a bigger, thicker band. I got the purple one there. Uh, this is one of our favorite for actually working in the core. I'm going to go actually put this on the middle one. And uh, I love this one for core. Stir the pot. Oh, you can't go wrong with stirring the pot. <laughs> this is one of those exercises. So you're working the obliques, you're working the core, and I'm just actually going to stir the pot. It's like tr causing trouble, right, Brad? Stir yeah. the pot. I can go the other direction. Now this it doesn't look that hard, does it? No, but it is. <laughs> you and, have to do it for thirty seconds to a minute. It depends you can make on your it shape. Worse by going out further yet. You can tell by his grunt in his voice. What I like about this, Brad, is that. You know, anybody with back pain can do this, I think. Yeah. You, you know, where they might not be able to get on the floor, they might not be able to do planks, they can do core strengthening with, with without putting too much stress on their back. Right. Yep. I like that as well. I just wanted to show one more of that. One of my favorite cores, I, I don't think you like this one that much, Bob, but, but I like it. I'm just going to go up here. 
and get in there. And you can see how, how nice and quick that goes. And I like to do rotation like right. this. And I always put my fingers right in there so I feel those transverse muscles going. And it really does a nice job on working that. Um, you know, and if you do have the loops, you can put the loops in these wall anchors as well. And, you know, you can work, yeah. work the pot, work your rotation. Uh, all very convenient. One of uh, the favorite exercises here is for posture. Ah, yes. So you, you, uh, you hook it up with the top one or the middle one, and you're actually just going to do W's. I don't know if so, you can see that. I'm making a W here on. like this. Yeah. You can go straight out like this. Like reverse flies. Like cross. Yep. And you can also pull down yep. palms toward the body, and you're getting the whole entire upper back and posture muscles that help hold those shoulder blades back. Well, you just turn right around, Bob, and turn it into flies and get the uh, oh, and antagonist. Then I can flip right around like yeah. this, like Brad likes and to it, do it. Yeah, it's and so easy. Just, you know, he's ready to fly away. So you're doing supersets. You get yep. the antagonist and the antagonist, and it's right. very convenient. I love them. They're, they're one of my favorite things to do, Bob. This, I'm going to show my favorite You're thing. You're really an exciting guy, aren't you, Brad? I, I'm telling you, Bob. Yeah. Oh, I forgot that, this. The See, things that excite you. When I play with these things, it makes me feel strong like bull. There we now, go. I might be full of bull. Yeah. But you put this in here, and there's a couple of things you can do with this right off the top of my head. One thing we've talked about is I've got a video on indoor running. Right. So in the wintertime, I see cool, outside, I see. Yep. you get some resistance on there like this, and you just start running. <laughs> and you can run sideways. Remember that video? Yeah, you yeah, you went all over the place. Yeah, you can, you can run this way and work the muscles on the hips, those meat, you know. What do we call those side muscles, Bob? I'm hey, hip abductors hip or <laughs> gluteus, <laughs> gluteus medius. Yeah, we're, we're therapists, we know. And you can also do the backwards run. And the loops are so forgiving, you can just well, turn. What I like about the loops is so strong. Yeah, the, the, oh, you're yeah. not gonna snap that very easy. I don't. I, I, I'm getting tired. Yeah. No, I've never strapped. I never broke a strap. Yeah, uh, yeah, and you can even go the thicker one. You'll never break that one either. And our most recent discovery is backwards walking from right. nose over the toes, guys, or something. Over no, there. knees over the toes. <laughs> but and you can turn around and walk backwards this way. And walk backwards this way. Yeah, he's got a program where he has, when you're just starting out, especially if you're a little bit elderly and you want to strengthen your knees, he actually has you walking backwards. And that's the safe way to do it yep. without falling over and providing resistance. Right. So. Yeah, it's uh, it's like one of the latest things. And the, the leap loops do come down to, to small ones for beginners as well as for right, all this kind through. of exercise. I don't think we have the green one anymore. It's, there's been a shortage. So, I mean, yeah, uh, um, the, the material probably, actually. Right. Along with, you know, everything, everything else in everything, the world. Yeah, like lumber and um, plastics and everything else right. there's a shortage of now. But uh, you can double them up, no problem. Food, car, chips, everything is. And, uh, we've got more videos coming for more uses of these. I'm really excited about those, Bob. But I'm not telling. Easy yeah, I do. Well, whatever. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Be careful.